do right, cover everything. So I showed you a good time. Oh yeah, on those last freaking million examples of L'Hopital, let's just do one more. You can do it, push yourself. This is the last example, it's probably the most hardest. <laughs> My English is so good. What am I talking about? I'm talking about this guy right here. So I'm looking at the limits as X approaches infinity. Oh, boy. that happened. Look at this. Look, look, mira. It's one to the infinity power. So that's one to the infinity power and that's an indeterminate form. So how do I determine what that limit is? Well, I wanna use L'Hopital's, but in order to get it there, I have to change the form and let's go and let's let y equal x over x plus one to the x power. Yeah, and then what am I gonna do? When I have that form, I'm gonna use log. So let's go log in. That's the natural log of y is equal to the natural log of x over x plus one to the x. Why did I do that? So that I can use the property of exponents. When I have an argument raised to a power, I can write that down in front. x times the natural log. Ugh. Good. Times the natural log of x over x plus 1. All right. And that's the natural log of y. Why am I doing that so that I could run the limit? And let's do that over here. We're looking at the limit of the natural log of... Well, it's not that. The natural log of y is equal to the limit of the... As x goes to infinity of x times the natural log of 1 over x plus 1. All right, x, go away, go to infinity. So here we see this is infinity, boom, this is, whoa, whoa, <laughs> grow another leg. There you go, um, mutation, that's 1. The natural log of 1 is 0. When we have that, then we can <clears throat> rewrite it as the limit. Keep the natural log on top. It's just, you know, the way it is. Could you do it the other way? I'm sure, but you'd probably get to run around. And... All right, all right, all right. X, it... go away! So this is the natural log of X over X plus one over one over X. Same. Now what do we have? We have a uh, zero over zero. When we have zero over zero, then we can use L'Hopital's. Please H circle it. Oh. Let's look at the derivative of that guy over here. If I have D, dx of the natural log of x over x plus one, then that's one over the argument x over x plus one times the derivative of that argument. So it's low d high minus high d low all over low low. Bam! So then we clean that up. X minus X, all right. All my X's are gone and everything is right in the world. X plus one times, this is one over X plus one squared. Bam! Dividing by a fraction, same. Multiply by the reciprocal and you get X plus one over X times one over X plus one squared. Now I know I went into gritty detail, but uh, uh, oh! Yeah. Oh, that was the derivative at the top. So this is the limit as x goes to infinity of one over x times x plus one over one over. Damn. Minus x, x. All right. Everything looks good. Okay, so then, over x dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. I really do feel like I'm missing something.
Anyway, keep on keeping on. So then, that's x over x times 1 plus, ooh, x plus 1, huh, eh, eh, limit as x goes to infinity. Why do I feel like there should have been a negative somewhere? So then we let y be that. All right, it is. Now, you bring that down, okay, then you take the limit, boom, that's zero times this, all right, so then you rewrite like this, okay, so then you take the derivative of this, and that's one over, times the derivative of that guy, this is low, d high, minus high, d low, all over low, low, and then what? Uh, 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 uh. And... That's the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 over x plus 1, which is 0. What's that? That's the limit as uh, natural log of y as x goes to infinity. Now I rewrite this guy. Boom. That's all aside. All right, people? Just put it aside. So now this is the limit of y. All right, so we're looking at the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the natural log of y. Y. I explained it a different... Click that annotation if you want to see why. So then that's e to the limit as x goes to infinity of the natural log of y. But what was that? It was this. So that's e to the zero, which is one. Now I don't know, oh geez, something happened right here. All right, derivative of this guy. This is low, d high, minus high, d low, all over low, low. I figured it out. It was that piece right there. Boom. <laughs> oh, the derivative of that guy is minus x squared. Oh, good. So then what? Then this is squared and negative. Then what? There's an x and minus there. That's not zero. That's a minus one. <laughs> Recovery. So then the limit of the natural log of y isn't zero. I'm sorry if that was bugging you, right? We forgot to take... Oh, we didn't... Oh, okay. It's on me. I own it. I forgot to take the derivative of the denominator. So that's a, a minus one. So this is e to the minus one, which is the same as one over e minus. Just kidding. And the mystery has been solved. Flower. Sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.